Hello, my name is Jacob Avila of Core Ultrasound, and in this five minute Sona video, I'm going to walk you through how to do a basic knee examination using your ultrasound. Now, with this exam, you can use the linear or the curvilinear transducer. I usually go for the linear, but if you need a wider field of view, the curvilinear can work as well. Now, I usually start by just looking for an effusion, and I found that the easiest place to look for it is in the suprapatellar area. So I have my probe marker facing up, and I'm identifying a couple of tendons here. This one right here is the quadriceps tendon. You can see that it's attached to the patella, which is right here. Deep to that, we have that suprapatellar recess, which is where fluid often accumulates. Next, you can look in the infrapatellar area. We have the patella there on the left side of the ultrasound screen with the uh, patellar tendon on top. And then deep to that, we are going to see a couple of things. We are going to see the tibia, which is right there. And then just superior to the tibia and between the femur and the tibia right here, we're actually going to see a bit of a fat pad. This is called Hoffa's fat pad up here. This is another place where fluid might accumulate. And right here, we're probably seeing a bit of cartilage on the femur. Then we can look on the sides here. This is the medial aspect. We can see the tibia. We can actually see the medial meniscus. It's that kind of triangular thing, that triangular structure right there with the femur just on the left side right there. And on top of that, we can actually see the medial collateral ligament just over top of that meniscus. And we can see that it is nice and linear. There are no disruptions in those fibers there, meaning no tear. On that lateral side, we have one other kind of area structure that we need to be aware of, and that is this right here. This is the popliteus tendon, which can be confused possibly with a meniscus or with an LCL. So we're placing the transducer on the lateral aspect there, and right here we see this groove right here, and we can see the popliteus tendon right here in that groove with the LCL right on top of it. Deep to that, we are going to see the lateral meniscus and then the fibula inferior to that on the right side of that screen. I'm going to take a brief pause here just to let you know that all of our content is on the coreultrasound.com website. That is Ultrasound Podcast, 5 Minutes Sono, Ultrasound of the Week, Clip Bank, and we also have our courses page where we have the Core Ultrasound Fundamentals and Core Ultrasound Question Bank where you have 3,200 questions with feedback, including narrated videos explaining the question. Check it out and back to your video. Now, as far as tears, what we're looking for is we're looking for any disruptions in those fibers. So over here, we have a MCL. We can see that it's right here and right here. And we see this black line going all the way through. This is a complete disruption. We also have a bit of fluid coming out of the joint right here and right here. And this right here is the meniscus, which is likely injured itself because it's got some kind of darker stuff uh, within it. Over here, we're seeing another example of what is an LCL tear. We're seeing a disruption in the fibers right here. We see some fluid right in this area. This is what an LCL tear looks like. And then over here, we have a quadriceps tendon rupture. So we can already see that the anatomy is a bit distorted. It's kind of hard to see. They're not quite regular. I know that this is subcutaneous tissue up here, and I think this one or maybe even this one would be the quad tendon. And as we move down here, we can see, boom, there is a huge disruption right here in that quad tendon. This is a basically a complete rupture right here of that quad tendon. And then we can see the distal aspect of it over here, maybe down there. This is some fluid right here is the patella. And we actually have a fracture of the patella right there. This is what happens with some blunt force injury right here. So anytime you see any disruption of those fibers, think a tear, especially of the tendons. Then down here, we have a patellar tendon rupture. This right here is a tibia, and you can see how there's a bunch of black stuff. It's a bit kind of bunched up right here, lines going through it. This is what a tear looks like. This is an example of a meniscal injury. So this right here is the meniscus, this whole area right here. And you can see that there's a chunk there, a chunk there, and then we have some black stuff going right through the middle of it. This is what a meniscal tear looks like. It's a pretty good sized one, actually. This right here, just some sharing of my personal journey, is my medial meniscus. So right here is my good side, and then right here is my bad side. So you can see here that I have a tear right in that area. I have a little more inflammation here, a little more inflammation there. This is um, some fluid, and you can see here that this is where my tear is. This one is not quite as bad as the previous one, but I can tell you it definitely needed surgery and affected my life. So this is what a subtle tear would look like. 
Next, let's talk about how to identify some fluid collections within the knee. So there definitely are a bunch of bursae in the knee. And if you're not sure if it is a bursa or if it's even pathologic or not, and this goes with ligaments, goes with fluid collection, menisci, go ahead and just look on the other knee. So patients with any joint complaints, they always have a control. They always have a contralateral joint. And unless they're having symptoms on both sides, you can always use the unaffected side to see if the thing that you're seeing is likely to be pathologic or not. So over here, we have a fluid collection in the knee. So this is the quad tendon. This is a fat pad, another fat pad. And this right here is a fluid collection. It's another thing that I'll do if I'm not sure if something is a fluid collection or not, is I'll put a little bit of pressure on it. And if I see it squish, it's more likely to be a fluid collection. In summary, when you're looking for knee pathology, for ligaments, just look for disruption in those ligamentous fibers. For a meniscus, you're looking for an irregularity of the structure of that meniscus. And then for effusion, just look for fluid. It's most commonly going to be located in the suprapatellar recess, but it can be located anywhere it wants, depending on the site of injury. And then don't forget, if you're not sure if something that you're looking at is an abnormality, just look on the other side. And if you don't see it on the other side, the thing that you're seeing is more likely to be some sort of pathology. That's it for this five-minute Sono video. Make sure that you check out coreultrasound.com for all of the five-minute Sono videos. Hope to hear from you soon and happy scanning.